OK, so let's turn our attention to Matlock Town Football Club as, uh, like Buxton in the past few days, been a very, very uh, eventful day, uh, sorry, an eventful week uh, for the Gladiators as well. I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by the brand new Matlock Town manager, Martin Carruthers. Uh, Martin, first of all, congratulations on your new appointment. Thank you very much and uh, good morning to you. Yeah, great to have you on the show because I know, uh, well, at the time of recording, this was only, uh, the appointment was only confirmed whew, about less than 24 hours ago. So thank you very much for this. Um, just first of all, Martin, what, what attracted you uh, to the Matlock Town job? What what made you apply for it? And, uh, you know, what, what stood out for you for Matlock Town? Well, I've known um, Glenn Kirkwood for a, for a number of years. So I, I've known about his previous success, success at Matlock. Um, he's always told me what a fantastic family club it is. It's really run well, really stable. Um, last year, obviously, you were top of the league for quite a lot of the season. Got in the playoffs, which is a fantastic achievement. Um, you know, just the playing service, the, the, the times that I've, you know, played against Matlock or, or managed against Matlock, it's always been a great atmosphere and, you know, it's always been a great place to to come and play football. You know, I've been spoken to to Jay and the, and the Dave and the rest of the board of directors. You know, they they told me about their ambitions, you know, their their plans for the future, their ambitions to to get into the Conference North. And, you know, it's just a fantastic opportunity. Um, I've applied for the job in the past and, and not been successful. Um, but this time around, you know, I've managed to, you know, to to get this job. And it's, it's a fantastic job with lots of quality applications. So I'm, I'm privileged and proud to, you know, to be the manager. And, um, you know, I really want to make this a, a real success. And I'm really excited. And, you know, I've had a nice little break now. I'm re-energised, enthused. And I already know they've got a great group of players already. So, you know, there's, there's not a lot that needs doing. Maybe tinkering one or two fresh faces. But, you know, um, they're three points outside the playoffs. So it's onwards mm -hmm. and upwards for me. Yeah, what what's going to be your initial approach with the squad? Is it just you're going to see, you know, how the squad get on in your first sort of two, three, four games as manager before maybe having a look at making any additions? So what what's going to be the approach there? Yeah, um, if the game's on tomorrow, Schutz and, and Quartz will, will put the side and, and take the side and I'll just go along and, and watch and observe. But yeah, you know, it's it's every player starts with a clean slate. You know, um, I know about a few of the players and I've seen a few players in action, obviously, in my last game uh, for Christian was against Matt Lock in the FA Cup. So yeah. I, know, I know I know quite a few of the players and I know there's some very good players there. So, you know, it would just be assessed and, you know, if if the players are, are good enough and, and ready for the challenge, then, you know, they, we won't need to make any drastic changes. I'm not one for making real upheavals. I don't want to just disrupt the harmony from, from what's been built already. I know Craig was building a very good side. So it might be just one or two tweaks here and there and, and like you say just implement my style of coaching um, some fine detail with, with set pieces and you know hopefully we'll, we'll hit the ground running Yeah no uh, previously uh, as you mentioned before you were at Ilkeston Town you've also been at Baseford United as well but just for any Matlock fans that might not be too familiar with yourself uh, what, what kind of sort of style of football uh, can Matlock Town fans expect and what, what kind of players do you like playing for you? Yeah, I mean, I've always liked to, to get the ball down and, and play out from the back. But again, you have to have the right type of players to be able to do that. I don't know enough about the, the players at the, at the moment in time. Um, you know, if we can play out from the back, we will do. You know, but, uh, you know, I like to, to, to play attacking football. I like to get lots of crosses in, certainly combination playing in around the box. I like to utilise wide players who can link up with the strikers and, and be really creative and play on the front foot. You know, my philosophy is, you know, defend from the front. And if we're defending, you know, on the edge of their 18-yard box and winning the ball high back up the pitch, you've got more chance of um, scoring goals. So, you know, it will be on the front foot, um, attacking-minded. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think my ticket can take too many four threes. But, yeah, I want, I, want, I want the fans to see, you know, good quality football. And even if we've lost, if the players are giving everything, then they'll know that, you know, the, the lads have given everything and there's been some attractive quality football on display. Yeah, and just, uh, well, at the time of recording, uh, this Staley Bridge uh, versus Matlock game is on, but I think like so many games 
uh, scheduled for tomorrow. It is a bit 50 50 because it is still about minus four or minus uh, three outside. So the pitchers are taking a bit of a battering at the moment everywhere across the country. But if it does go ahead, as you said before, it should be uh, Ryan Qualter and Steve Shuttleworth sort of actually managing the uh, that particular game. Is is that game, if it goes ahead, sort of like a bit of a, a scouting mission on your own team sort of uh, for that game? Yes, very much so. Yeah, it will just be to, to sit back and observe and, you know, if I can see anything that, that, that will help the team during the game. Um, you know, it's a great opportunity if the game's on to to try and, you know, get off to a, a winning start and, and get three valuable points. Um, but like you say, it'll just be a, a, you know, let them go out and play and enjoy themselves. There, there'll be no pressure. Um, and like you say, it's just observe and, and I can make some real good observations. You, you know, you, you can watch players in training, but, you know, training is different to a game and I'll, I'll see so much more, you know, watching from the stands and, and looking at the shape and, and, and the players and the formation and, and any slight changes that need to be made in the coming games. OK, great stuff. And uh, just finally then, Martin, um, <laughs> I'm sure you'll have been obviously keeping tabs on lots of different non-league divisions and how it's progressing this season. But um, the MPL Premier Division, uh, if you just take one glance at it, it's so competitive. Like Matlock are, I think, what, ninth at the moment. But they're only something like eight points off the top of the league and the teams have got games in hands everywhere, including the gladiators. What what is the target for this season? Is it just to try and get, you know, a really consistent run, like an unbeaten run in this second half, so that you can ensure a top five place? What what are your expectations? Yeah, I mean after the, the playoff success last year, you know, I think the you know, you've got to give yourself realistic goals and targets. And I think, you know, can we get in the playoffs in the position we're in at the minute? Yes, we can. And, you know, and that's that's key for me now. The next five games are, are critical. You know, if you can go on a, a nice unbeaten run now in the next five games, that then sets you up nicely with, with 15 games to go. And then you just got to take it one game at a time and keep picking the results off. But I don't see any reason now, you know, why we shouldn't be in and around those playoffs. And like you say, if you get in the playoffs at the end of the season, it, you, we know it's a lottery and that potentially, you know, you could then um, end up getting promoted. OK. All right. Well, great stuff, Martin. Thanks for your time today, because I know uh, this must have been a very busy week for you and you've got some busy weeks ahead. But thanks for your time, Martin. And uh, hopefully that Staley Bridge game goes ahead and uh, we wish you all the best and for three points. Thank you. Cheers, Matt.